Greetings and welcome back to Monster Legends! And for those of you who celebrated holidays, I hope you had a merry one. And of course, because of the holidays and a long trip home I had to do yesterday, didn't get a chance to do any Monster Legends updates, but we're doing one today, and we do have some things to talk about, because we had something that dropped on Christmas Day, and we had something to drop today as well. So, I'd like to talk about what dropped today first because we can kind of knock that one out quickly. And this one, as I said, this one kind of caught me by surprise. All right, we have another Magic Stones Island. This is a progressive event where you're actually going to try to get as many of these little stones as possible. You do your little tasks, you move it along, and at times you're going to have to spend gems to move it along. But you know, in this case, that's not a bad thing. I hope you have a lot of gems for this because yeah, the difference in this event and the ones of the past are actually the rewards. First and foremost, I believe this is a first, Copycat is not available as one of the rewards. I realize that's heartbreaking. I mean, he is good. I'm not saying he isn't good. It's just that somehow I think the individuals involved are going to make that easier to swallow. Okay, so we have Cain. We have Voltar, we have Helgadin, and Tragar. These will soften the blow for not having Copycat. These are without question the best individuals that have been available in this event. And your biggest trouble is going to be, who do I spend them on? All right, for me, in my case, some things get eliminated immediately. Like, for instance, my Tragar is actually 110 so honestly, I wouldn't waste it in this situation. I know waste is a harsh term. Waste is a harsh term. But the thing is that I wouldn't do that. I'm actually kind of between Volthar and Helgadon. Well, you know what? Let's talk about these individuals here, right? All right, let's start from the left. Cain. Cain is, of course, the elite of the individuals here. Something to remember. He's an extra turner. His attacks do bleeding. And he has a trait that gives him triple damage against uh, bleeding individuals. So he can kill things. Yes, he can kill Megaton tanks with lots of health, assuming they actually bleed. Do they bleed? That's what matters, right? So he's very, very good indeed. Very good damage dealer. Can get rid of really pesky individuals very quickly, right? All right, over here, we have the one individual that I don't have in the middle towards the left, and that's Falthar. And I'm leaning towards going after him. All right, so he's a Thunder, and he is Denial. He does uh, activation of cooldowns. He, can also, he also has other group attacks that can take stamina away from the enemies as well. So, like I said, I don't have him. I would really like to have him, but then again, we have Helgadin. Now, I actually have Helgadin. Helgadin is Darkness, a, um, a damage dealer. She has an attack that will make them weak against Darkness attacks and then can follow up with a big old Darkness attack. She also dodges group attacks. Now, I'm thinking I would really like to rank her up. That's the only thing I'm thinking in terms of, you know? I mean, I don't have Volthar, but I'd really like to rank her up so that I could use her more often. So that's the reason I'm kind of thinking that way. Now, I'm not going to be going for Dragar in this, because like I said, mine is 110, and I think it need, was it 290 cells? So I wouldn't waste an opportunity like this on, on him. Not that he isn't great, by the way. By the way, he's great. He's got, some, he's got lots of group attacks that do all kinds of torture effects, and including curse and then poison and bleeding and stuff. And he's also got this one single target attack which removes positive status effects, disables the trait, does damage, and stuns. So that is very good for nullifying a Megaton tank or going after somebody who's dodging group attacks, right? You can really mess them up with that. So if you don't have him, he's definitely worth considering. For me, myself, like I'm saying, Falthar, Helgadin, I don't know. I'm going to have to check how many cells I have for Cain. You know, but one way or another, I want as many of those magic stones as I can get. So, uh, let's go back here for a moment. So remember, if you saw it, they're now selling them, selling them in groups of 50 now. So you'll get 35 cells of who you're looking for, for 50. So if you want to get one from scratch, 
well, you're probably going to have to get this 50 up here because I believe that'll total 150. So then you can actually get, you know, three batches of 35 and then you can make them. Or you can rank somebody up if that's what you're inclined to do. But anyway, this is going to be going for a total of four days. And you can see I've got a number over here that I'm fairly close to just hitting the button. But I'm probably just going to do one more collection before I even do that. But moving this along is a good use of gems because, like I said, there's some really good creatures out there. So figure out who you want to go for, go for them, and make sure you get enough of these little magic stones to do that. All right, that started today, so we got a good head start on that. Now, on Christmas Day, we got a new maze, the Gloomy Dome Maze. And, of course, we have a new individual, and it just so happens that that individual right there and of course he's the uh the limited time that opened up this morning so that's going to go for another day in 15 hours and this is centurion we had a little talk about him previously but you know what let's talk again okay i do have some information about him so let's talk about him all right so he is metal of course he's one of the forsaken there too you know he's metal in the books he's mechanical sea winter i think that's exclusive isn't it and then we have the uh, the Christmas book as well. So those first three are going to be very useful in war situations. So you're now going to have a Megaton tank. By the way, he's a Megaton tank in order to uh, to cover those. Now he's Forsaken, which means getting cells for him. You know, if you don't get him from this event to rank him up, yeah, you're probably going to have to reach into your wallet because that's what it's looking like these days, right? But you know what? Right out of the box, he's fine. Now, I noticed this before, his relics. He's got the armor one, which makes sense, but he's also got banner. And he does have some extra turn stuff going on. So, yeah, being able to restore the, um, if you decide to go with like a charged banner, re restore your team's stamina, even though he can actually do that himself too. So there's good possibilities regarding that. All right, and as it says, he's a Forsaken there. And then, of course, let's get down to the... Um, the ranking up the, and the effect on his evolving trait. We talked about this before, but let's just see it again. At rank zero, he's hardened and he does a status cast for Megaton. So he does that right out of the gate. If you rank him up to rank one, the Megaton is no longer status cast. It's part of his trait, which means the only way you could get him to not Megaton is to disable his trait. So that's where Drakkar would actually be very useful, by the way. And then just stun him right after that, you know. Disable the trait, stun him, really kind of nice. Now, if you get down to rank 3, he becomes an artifact. So the, the what's the name is now gone. The hardening is now gone at that part. He's just an artifact, which means he can't have anything positive or negative on him. Which, of course, means that, you know, it would have been inconvenient if he was still status casting Megaton. But since it's part of his trait, it doesn't even matter anymore. And if you get him to rank um, 4, he's going to do an area damage reduction to the other team. Probably, I, I would guess, 50%. I don't really know about that, but I'm guessing it would be 50%. So they probably spend like three rounds like that. So he is definitely someone you want to get, not just because of the ranks. Okay, now these are his tier 4s, but I'm just throwing that up because it looks kind of cool, right? His lower ones are just fine for him. So if you never rank him up, it's not that big of a deal. Mind you, these are pretty darn good. Just saying, you know, if you look at even just the first one there, massive metal damage against one enemy applies two random torturer skills to all enemies. So, yeah, Merry Christmas to you and all your torture effects. Uh, the next one, too, applies a random negative status effect to all enemies, applies a random positive effect, and then he gets an extra turn. So he does have a couple of extra turns here. Uh, the next one there, the Ho-Ho EXE, deals heavy special damage to all enemies, heals all allies by 50%. Yeah, he's a healer, by the way. He does a lot of supporty stuff. He does a lot of things that are um, good for your team and bad for the other guys. But let's not gloss over this. I mean, in, in metas, it's very difficult to have healers especially since you now have Megaton tanks and you need, you need some kind of support and then of course you need damage dealing. So you never really could fit in like a healer anymore. Well, that's no problem because your healer here is a Megaton tank. 
So, yeah, it's really kind of ugly. Remove negative status effects from the team. Give them stamina regeneration. Give them life regeneration. So, I mean, he's really benefiting himself mostly by doing that. He's also got a single target skill, right? It's a two-round cooldown, 20 stamina. It heals an individual for 75% and then puts a negative status effect on the entire other team. If that can be used on him, that is so ridiculously overpowered because it will be impossible to kill at that point, especially if you get him to the point where he's an artifact. He's also got a group attack lower that heals the entire team by 35%. So if you ended up getting this other one here that does 50%, it'd be impossible to kill because you just keep healing and healing because you know you're going to put a ton of health on him, right? So, yeah, I mean, even without ranking him up, he's still really, really good. And you'll notice he's on the limited path. Well, what do we need to actually get him? Well, I have a panel for that, too. And here we are. Here are the numbers. And I have to say, I'm actually surprised by this. I really am. I expected him to be a lot more expensive. A lot more. I was expecting kind of like the number we had when we had Lum in here. I thought it was going to be like 47, 4800. I didn't think it was going to be 3940 with no discount. And of course, let's face it, you're not going to get a discount at this point. I think it was a 10% for like the first hour or something. But of course, I was still sleeping at the time. I'm a late sleeper, late riser, that kind of thing. But this is very reasonable. As you can see, I'm up to 3513 and I got a day in 15 hours. I'm going to get him. Just spoiler alert, I'm going to get him. And then whatever else is on that path too. I was able to get another 100 cells for Thundir. And you know what? It was really kind of mean. By that I mean it was like, okay, 150, 155, 160, 165. And I had 100. I'm like, this is great. I'm going to be able to rank him up. And the next one, 800. I'm like, that is just mean. That is just mean. So I have 100 cells for Thundir that are utterly useless to me. Just wonderful. So, I mean, the thing about it is that if you aren't able to get that 3940, you might want to consider waiting for the 30% and then try to spend all your gems to get the 100 cells from him then. It really depends. The easiest way to do it is to do it now if you can. But if you don't have the 3940, don't waste your coins. Because if you, you get all the way and you don't get all the way there, then the thing is that you won't have them to be able to get his cells, all the cells you need later, even on 30%. So, I mean, if you're going to do it, make sure you have the coins first. That's all I'm saying. Otherwise, you're probably better off just saving all of your coins and then doing it that way. So just a little bit of a piece of advice. And I hope you guys listened to me when I was saying when it starts and there's a 20% discount, don't spend, your, don't spend anything. Don't. Unless, of course, you never planned on doing the limited path. But even then, better to wait for the 30%. Always better to wait for the 30%. Anyway, this is running now. It's running for 5 days, 14 hours, and 21 minutes at the time of recording. Um, I, as soon as I get this guy, he is maximum priority. I have got to rank him up immediately because I want this guy available to me. right? Because he is... Really tough. And I'm very curious as to whether or not that 75% ally heal works on him. If it does, that is just so ridiculously overpowered. Can you imagine having like a Megaton tank do that? Ooh, okay. Well, that's going to be something serious. So you want to make sure you get this guy because everybody's going to have him. Okay, so I think that's about everything we have. The major stuff, they're doing a sale of cells that... I don't really see as being a great deal personally, but uh, so I'm not going to talk about it. That's just 85 gems for 30. That doesn't work out well for me because I keep thinking about those buy 10 for 14. You know, it just that seems to be a better deal. You know, just me. I just don't like that one. And unfortunately, we're um, yeah, we're in this situation now. We were actually sitting in limbo for a day and a half saying, you can't opt in, you can't opt out, you're just going to have to wait. And of course, now we're going to get dropped into this. Uh, the reason is, is because at the beginning of this, we were actually rank um, 97, so we got trapped in this. Uh, we have drifted a little bit lower and higher in the meantime. 
Um, I'm guessing because people winning and such like that. But unfortunately, we're stuck in this. So hopefully we get out as quickly as possible. Um, the reason, I think, is that the last four wars we were in, they were against teams that really shouldn't have been fighting us. I mean, I think the last team only got 34 coins against us, but I don't really think they were as active as they probably could have been. They could have done better, just saying. But, I mean, nobody's gotten the three digits against us in the last three wars, and that's a matter of they just should not have been fighting us. Really should not have been. So as a result, as this new season begins, we're starting in Legendary 4, which I don't want to be in. So the quicker we're out of this, the better, because we're probably going to be playing a team now that we really shouldn't be playing. But as a result, of course, we don't have war. Um, so what I was thinking might do, at least here very quickly, um, I hope you guys are still doing the Christmas tree thing, the Christmas thing. Um, I am closing in on the, um, the, sec the third set of Croxonian guard cells. I intend to get all 120. I think I got that gold relic on the path for Thundir when I got down far enough. I think that's where it was. But uh, I'm just going to open presents because after all, it's two days after Christmas and you know, these are just, just open them up. Maybe I'll get lucky or something like that. I don't see anything purple. I see a gold in the back though. I see a gold, it's a shield. All right, so friendship, okay. When turn ends, if allies below, oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's not bad. That's not bad. Nice little heal going on there. I think that's a. Oh, I see another gold. And this is usually a good one. Yep, yep, that one drains stamina. Yep, I like that one. That's a good one. Hit me, I take your stamina away. I think that that's about it. That's not gold, right? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. All right, so let's see. Let's open these. And. All right, uh, I'm gonna open up the gold one, and we'll see if it's something really good. Oh, another charging banner! Oh, I have somebody new who's gonna have need a charging banner too. Yep. All right, let's just see what's in 49 of these. Okay, where is he? How many did I get of him? I'm wondering if in the end I might be able to build him or something like that. Oh, I just got flirty. I was just thinking, do I have enough cells? Am I going to get enough cells to actually get him? And I got him. Well, it's a good thing I didn't go for him in the, um, in, in the, in the maze, right? Oh, I got two. I got, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, well, okay, I'm getting enough of him. Maybe I'll be able to make him. Ah, Santa, yippee. All right, and some more of him. Maybe I'll rank him up. Okay, some definitely some good things. 42 of those. I guess I'm going back to opening chests. Okay, so I got him, and I'm getting close enough to be able to get him. Okay, that's, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah, I got a bunch of these guys now, too. All right, let's just quickly do this one again. Uh, I don't see any more, but after all, you need the little ones in order to feed up the golds, right? A couple of silvers, but that's about it. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, I don't care about the other ones. Just see. I know these are going to be fives. Yep, there's one five, and the other one's going to be a five, too. Watch. You just watch. Told ya! They're always fives these days. Not even going to bother with that one. And also, I noticed something, and I want some feedback from my viewers here. Um, the team shop. As you might notice, I have over 5,000 of the gold coins, and I have 12,000 of the other ones. I was thinking about... Um, a VIP chest, but then I also realized that I now have the ability to get the one of these. So should I? And here's the big question. Which one should I go for? Right? I mean, targeting the essence wouldn't be so bad, but then again, you got some good stuff over here. All right, any opinions on that? I think that I'll probably go for one of these because you know, you're not often going to get, you know, numbers like this in terms of the coins here. So I'm thinking I might do this. If anyone's got a different suggestion, then that's fine. But I mean, I'm thinking this might be an opportunity here. So uh, let me know what you think about that. All right. And I think that is everything that we have except, of course, for war. So let's get to it.
Oh, that reminds me, before I leave here, I gotta go back in here for a second. I wanna do this right now before I forget. I accidentally spent the other one, so that's the only one that I have. And yes, I have my keys for today. All right, so let's uh, go back in. Okay, I had a lot of options today in terms of, that's an ugly team up the middle. Yeesh, I'm gonna stay away from that one. Um, oh, maybe, maybe not, we'll see, we'll see. Um, like I said, I got a lot of good teams today. Uh, we had a lot of possibilities in there, so uh, things are gonna be kind of amusing today. All right, so let us begin. Our first team today was suggested by Angel Medina. And Angel wanted to see, all right, I, I made a guess on the last one, but I think it's a good guess. All right, the first one here is going to be Lance, and then we're going for, we're, we're not doing denial, we're just go kill them quickly here. That's kind of what we're doing, because we're going with Cloud. And finally, this was the closest to what you wrote down. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is what you meant. So we're just going to throw in Wasper. I'm pretty sure you meant Wasper. Okay, so obviously we're not doing denial. We're doing let's kill them really quickly. All right, up the middle. I don't think that's a good idea. No, I don't. I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, we, no, I don't, I don't think that's a good idea. That could just, that just go very badly. Um, I don't want to do any goats. The thing about it is that I, I, my trophy count is a little higher than I would like. So things could get ugly, but I think we're just going to try again. Um, we might be able to do the one up the middle, but I don't want to risk it. You know, situations like that, they'll just have 10 runes on them. Do I want to try this one on the right? That seems like a terrible idea. All right, one more try. I think I should have done that. All right, this is this is not going to go well, is it? Who do I want to die to? I got 130s over on the left. I, even though they're probably the least dangerous, they become dangerous when they're 130, right? Elvira just messes up the whole dynamic completely. So I have to do this one on the right. I'm sorry, I should have picked one of the earlier ones. Um, denial's be okay. She's going first then, right? Oh, no, we're not you. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, this is, this is not going to go well. Okay, well, at least he's unaffected. Dodging group attacks is a wonderful thing. Did you still... You were evading. Okay, so actually Cloud is the only one who's in trouble here. All right, um, I do think you have some dragon in you. Yes, you do. You were a dragon. You're not a dragon anymore. I, I gotta get rid of you. I have so gotta get rid of you, because otherwise you're gonna resurrect him. Um, okay, let me think about this. Triple damage to itself in days. Well, I mean, he could do this and he'll dodge the days, right? The thing about it is, is he gonna be alive by that time, you know? I, I need the damn, I think, cause I don't think I could kill him, right? Hive Defender, no, that's not gonna do it. Uh, piercing Sting, Disable Strait, even Disabling the trait isn't gonna matter. And then Poison, it isn't gonna matter. And this one here, Disables the traits of everybody. All right, I'm going to have to play him for the damage, right? So we're going to do this. He should dodge the daze. All right. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. Okay, well, you know, could you just not heal them? You just... Okay, charge with me, and that please, thank you, and then stabby stabby, you redeemed yourself, 
I was going to lambast him for killing Buzzkill because he's the one who stunned him and the other guy finished him off. Alright, and a spin! I really could use more maze coins. Just saying. Okay, he doesn't like working on a Friday apparently this week. Okay, so that was thrilling and uh, let's go on. Our next team today was suggested by Cash Nasty. And Cash actually gave me two teams. I couldn't use the first one because, well, I haven't hatched him yet. Um, so, in the future, in the future. All right, but uh, we're going with this team, and it's a pretty good team. So let's just go over to Water, and we're going to start with Alfonso. Next, we're going to somebody whom is available for in the, in the Magic Stones area. This is... Kane. I'm going to have to check how many cells I have for him. I might have extra ones, you know? I'm going to have to see about that, because I might throw a, a thing his way for that, you know, just to, if I could rank him up, that would be really great. And finally, back over to water, since we need denial, of course, we're going with Ursula. All right, so obviously we're going to be doing some freezing here, right? So let's see what we can do here. Here's an interesting question. Do I want to try that team over there? Like I just said, Kane is capable of killing um, Megaton tanks. I think I would like to demonstrate that. It's dangerous, but let's go. It really depends on what they're wearing. Ouch! What? Why would you give him stuff like that and no and no runes? Why 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 would you do that? I don't why I I I I don't even understand. My brain is hurting. I have no problem giving that to him. I have a problem giving that to him and not putting any runes on him. That's what I have a problem with. Oh, you were megaton. Oh, that's right. That means okay, well, you know what? Um, have a mega freeze. Oh, you resisted that. Wait a minute, why did you get three attacks? Oh, you're immune to torture! Oh, that was... No, I mean, that was mega freezing. Oh, you're immune to torture effects. You're going to be a lot harder to kill than I thought. That's unpleasant. Okay. All right, well, I'm just going to have to go with raw damage then. Oh, are you... Wait a minute, what? Did you have anticipation? I'm confused by that. I don't see anticipation here. Corruption, possession, corrupt. I, oh he, oh okay, there it is. It's part of, okay, I didn't realize he had that. All right, all right. Um. Okay, and then this one. Okay, you're annoying me. Uh, let's see. Disables trait. Okay, that didn't take the other ones off, did it? Ouch. Okay, let's see. What do you have here? I mean, I could just go with this one and let him take all the damage, right? Which, which actually isn't really a lot of damage. Oh, that's bad. She's going to die really soon. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that, though. Unfortunately, all your skills are in cooldown. Think about this. Position blocked. Oh, oh, because he's there, you're immune to possession. All right, gotcha. All right, I didn't, I didn't realize that. By the way, this was. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Okay. 
Okay, that might have worked out if it wasn't for him. I didn't actually know the kind of things that he was going to contribute, so that did not work out. Sorry about that, Cash. Sorry about that. All right. Well, it was amusing at least, right? All right, so let's uh, go with our third team. Our third team today was suggested by Zane Ibrahim. I hope that was at least recognizable. And Zane gave me three teams. I chose this one. So let's go with Darkness. And we'll start with Simon. And then we're going over to Metal. And this is going to be Karen. And finally, over in Light, we're going all the way down to Elvira. All right, so we got a lot of stuff here, and uh, if Karen gets the opportunity, she can do all kinds of nasty things to the other team. Okay. Let me think. I'm trying to think, do any of these teams, like, would they be a good match? All right, we're going to hit a refresh. Because I think we should probably try to go for something a little challenging, although I don't want to duel Elvira's if the other two individuals are 130. No thank you. Up the middle? I guess up the middle is kind of interesting. I mean, there's no real damage dealer there. You got a tank, you got two denials. Eh, just one more time. Okay. Oh, we got the, the doggy there. Do I want to play with Pierce Seed? That's just, I don't know about that one. Um, yeah, let's do that one. Let's try that. Let's see how that works. It's probably a terrible mistake, but we do have Elvira giving us some protection for the first round, right? Okay, let's see. Um, I must scream! Random control effect and metal weakness. Okay, we probably tried to do something to you, and that's the reason. Probably like a stun or something. All right, what do you got? Oh, you're, okay, you're all evading now. Isn't that lovely? Well, you're not evading. You, you don't have anything like... I'm a little leery now of... Um, I'm a little leery now of, what's the name of it right now? The um, Anticipation. And Master of Pain. Oh, you get to go again. Because it did it twice, which means it gave him two turns. Is Master of Pain a zero cooldown? That's very interesting. I didn't realize that. All right, we can't do anything to you guys. Do we need any healing? Yeah, actually we do. Yeah, Simon needs healing. All right. Good question here. What do we got? Remove positive status effects on one enemy applies to okay, uh, you. There you go. Uh, deep thought. Remove positive status. Oh, I could have done. I could have done this to all of them, couldn't I? Boom! You're dead. What's the matter? Are we bugging you? And how often does he get to do three of these in a round? Right. Okay, stop that. Repent, sinner. Okay, you really need to stop that. You're starting to bother me. Um, well, you know what? This sounds like a really great idea. All right, uh, charge. Master of Pain. Four Masters of Pain. Count them, four. All right, that was fun. So because he had the reflect on, ooh, ooh, thank you, very nice of you. Because he had the reflect on, when he did it, it did it twice, so he got two extra turns instead of one extra turn. So yeah, that was okay. Okay, so our final team today was suggested by 
Sushi M8. And Sushi M8 wanted to see, you know there's going to be one in every group, right? Because we have Cleo. And then we also have sitting right on top, Sparta. He's going to have uh, company pretty soon, actually, because um, Talika, I was, I was blanking on the name, she only needs 10 more cells in order to reach 115 herself. So, And finally, over in darkness, we have Fido. So let's see who we can play with. I do not wish to play with Pierce Seed and uh, Ragnarok. No, I don't. Also, I don't want to play with uh, Frog up the middle, the Maquis, because he's got anticipation. Why don't we just refresh and see if we can find something that's, like, interesting but not horrifying. Okay, well, the one on the right's pretty interesting. All right, let's do that. Let's go. Now, are you going to take her stamina away? Why, thank you very much. I wouldn't want her doing something nasty to my team, right? Speaking of which... Um, boom, you're dead. And, okay, not quite. There you go. Boom, you're dead. Um, charge? Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. It's the only thing she could do. So that worked out pretty well. Um, blindness? Oh, trait disabled. Oh, okay. Heavy dark damage, nightmares, days. Sure, it's free. And, uh... Boom on the head. Okay, and you don't have any stamina. Artifact hater. Oh, we're just terrified of that one. All of our artifacts are now in terrible danger. And, uh, let me see here. That one? And, boom, you're dead. Payback. Okay, I do believe we only had one mishap there, and that's because of the team that I chose as an opponent. Okay, I would really like to have gotten some of them maze coins, but I'm not going to complain because of the gems, though. And we're done. All right, so we got two things going right now. Uh, the Gloomy Dome Maze, and of course, very importantly, you have the... Um, the, what's the name of it, the Limited Path, with uh, Santerion himself on there. Um, I hope you all picked up on the uh, Coins Dungeon, it was yesterday. They do a graphic on it now, so it's really hard to miss. So I don't mind the fact that you didn't get a chance to hear that from me on Christmas Day. But then again, I was off somewhere on Christmas Day. Um, but I mean, he's only, um, he's only uh, 3,940, so if you get that amount, make sure you do it. If not, if you don't get all the way, you might want to just wait, get the 30%, and then go down and get his cells to build him that way. Because you wouldn't want to waste them unless you know you can actually get him. Which is the reason I haven't moved it at all. And um, I know I'm going to be able to get him, but I'm just going to wait anyway, because you never know what can happen, because I haven't lost my internet for long periods of time at times. So I just don't want to mess this up, because I really want this guy. He's going to fill some really great holes. And then, of course, we have the Magic Stones, Concentrate very heavily on getting the magic stones. Use gems to move it along whenever you need it. And then figure out who you're going to go for. I'm sure most of you figure out, you pretty much know who you're going to go for already. I haven't actually made my final decision on that one. But I want to get the stones first, right? So very, very good rewards in that one. I hope that that is something they're going to continue in the future. Having good rewards in that one. I just hope that that it doesn't become too much harder along the way. It could be that that's the cost of it. We're going to have to see. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.